Hello, and welcome to another edition of Business Automations with Ben. Today, we're going to explore the brand new AWeber integration on IFT. If this is your first time hearing of IFT, welcome. At IFT, we help solopreneurs and small business owners by connecting and automating the tools that they use every day. If you'd like to learn how to automate your business, simply like this video and subscribe for more of this content. And if you're not yet familiar with AWeber, AWeber is a robust email marketing tool designed to help solopreneurs and small business owners effectively reach their audience and grow their businesses. AWeber offers solutions such as email newsletters, autoresponders, and landing pages. This platform also enables you to automate email campaigns, track customer behavior, and generate performance reports, which provides crucial insights that can and help you in tailoring your marketing strategies, nurture leads, and ultimately enhancing customer conversions and business growth. Now, let me show you how we can automate AWeber on IFT. The trigger for this first app is coming from the Facebook lead ad service on IFT, and it's gonna fire every time one of our Facebook ad campaigns gives us a new lead. Here you have my Facebook account. This is the page and the form that I wanna use for this but click create trigger. The next thing I wanna do is add my action. So we'll click add next to then that. Type in AWeber. And we wanna turn those new leads from Facebook into AWeber subscribers. So we'll click create subscriber. As you can see, it already recognizes my account and the list that I wanna use. For email, we'll hit add ingredient and we'll simply map that to email. Same thing for name, we'll hit add ingredient and map that to full name. And for tags, we might do something like hit add ingredient and type in campaign name, page name, page ID, campaign ID. For this example, I'll just put campaign name, create action, continue. Feel free to name these whatever you want. This is the default name that they give us. I'm going to put Facebook leads to AWeber. The trigger for this next applet is coming from the Google ad service on it. And it's gonna fire every time we get a new lead from one of our Google ad campaigns. So I'll select new lead. Here you'll see my Google account, ben.terrell at if.com. Here you have the customer and lead form for this campaign. This is for if, and the form is Amazon Alexa Prime Day. So we'll click create trigger. And now for the action, we'll click the add button next to then that. And I'll type in AWeber. And just like last time, we're gonna turn that lead from Google ads into a new subscriber in our AWeber account. And same thing as last time, we mapped email to email, name to full name, and tags we did campaign name. Create action. And I'm simply gonna call this applet Google Ads to AWeber. This time we're gonna do the very same thing we did in the last applet, except we're gonna do it in reverse. So we're gonna start with our trigger from the AWeber service, and it's gonna fire every time we get a new subscriber create trigger and for our action we'll hit add and we'll type in you guessed it google ads and we're going to add that contact to a customer list with email again here is my google account here is the campaign account list that we're going to add that new subscriber to and just like the last two we're going to add an ingredient where it says email and we're going to map that to email from aweber create action continue and i'll call this applet aweber to google ads trigger for this next applet is coming from the Google Forms service on IFT and it's going to fire every time we get a new form response. So we'll click new form response here. Here's my account, Benjamin Terrell. And here is the form that we want to use, Clayton Construction Customer Form, Create Trigger. And just like last time, we're going to add this as a subscriber on AWeber. So here's my AWeber account. Here's the list again. Adding the email, the name is going to be a little bit different. So for email, I have question three answer. And for name, I have question one answer, question two answer. And the reason is, if you go to the contact form, uh, question one is first name and question two is last name and question three is their email address. Create action, continue, and I'm going to call this applet Google Forms to AWeber. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got something to say, let us know in the comments. Also, you can click the link above for more IF videos. And I'll see you next week for another edition of Business Automations with Ben.